In the previous class, you have learned that the Pandavas had been exiled for 12 years and their stipulated period was going to get over. One day, a sage's fire-kindling mortar got entangled on a deer's horn while it was rubbing its body against it. It ran away with it and the sage asked the Pandavas to get it back. But it was a magic deer and it led them deep into the forest and disappeared. They were very thirsty and Yudhishthir asked his brothers to find whether there was a there was any pool or river nearby. Navila climbed on a tree and saw water plants and grains at a little distance, which made them feel that there was water. Yudhishthir sent him to get water. Now you will read the rest of the lesson. Nagula was glad when he got to the place and saw there was a pool. He was very thirsty himself and so thought of quenching his thirst first before taking water in his cure for his brother. But no sooner did he dip his hand in the transparent water than he heard a voice which said, Do not be rash. This pool belongs to me. O son of Maji, answer me questions and then drink the water. Navila was surprised, but carried away by his intense thirst and heedless of the warning, he drank the water. At once, overcome by a great drowsiness, he fell down to all appearance dead. Navila was very happy to see the pool, because that much thirsty he was. He was glad when he got to the place, when he reached the place, he saw the pool and he was very happy. He was very thirsty himself. He himself was very thirsty and so thought of quenching his thirst first. As he was very thirsty, he thought first, I will satisfy my thirst. Satisfy, one's thirst is called quenching his thirst. First, I will drink water and satisfy my thirst or quench my thirst before taking water in his cure for his brother. So, after quenching my thirst, I will take water for my brother. He thought. But no sooner did he dip his hand in the transparent water than he heard a voice. As he dipped his hand inside the water, he heard a voice which said, Do not be rash. Do not be careless or unwise. This pool belongs to me. This pool is mine. O son of Madri, answer me questions and then drink the water. The voice said like this, O son of Madri, answer me questions. And then drink the water. Nagula is the son of Madri and Pantu. So the voice told him, You son of Madri, first you answer my questions and then drink the water. Nagula was surprised, but carried away by his intense thirst and heedless of the warning, he drank the water. He was very surprised to hear the voice, but he could not control his thirst. He was carried away by his intense thirst. He could not control his thirst. And heedless of the warning, he did not pay much attention to the warning also. And what did he do? He drank the water. At once, overcome by a great drowsiness, he fell down to all appearance dead. As he drank the water, he got drowsiness and he fell dead. Surprised that Nakula had not returned, Yudhishthir sent Sardeva to see what the matter was. When Sadhya reached the pool and saw his brother lying on the ground, he wondered whether any harm had come to him. But before looking into the matter further, rushed irresistibly to the water to quench his burning thirst. The voice was heard again. O oh, Sadhya, this is my pool. Answer my questions and only then may you quench your thirst. Like Nagula, Sadhya also did not heed the warning. He drank the water and at once dropped down. Surprised that Nagula had not returned. Yudhishthir was very surprised to see that Nagula did not return. He asked Saideva, his twin brother, to go and see what the matter was. When Saideva reached the pool and saw his brother lying on the ground, when he reached the pool, he saw his brother lying on the ground. He was surprised, wondered, whether any harm had come to him. Whether any harm had come to him means whether any unprecedented thing happened to him. But before looking into the matter further, he rushed irresistibly to the water to quench his burning thirst. He wanted to look into the matter. 
what happened to his brother but his thirst was overruling him he was not able to control his thirst and so he rushed to the pool to drink water the voice was heard again as he was about to drink water the voice was heard again o sadeva this is my pool what did the voice say o sadeva this is my pool answer my questions and all of them may you quench your thirst first you answer my questions then you drink the water like nagula sadeva also did not heed the warning just like nagula sadeva also did not pay attention to his warning he drank the water and that turns drop down he drank water from the pool and immediately he also fell down and died kasildan varij that sahadeva also did not return yudhishthir sent a jana to see whether the brothers had met with any danger and bring water he added for he was very thirsty kasildan varij that sahadeva also did not return yudhishthir was perplexed or unable to understand what happened to his brothers yudhishthir had decided to send arjuna to see whether the brothers had met with any danger whether the brothers had fallen in some danger or trouble and one more thing told him bring water he added for he was very thirsty he told him to bring water also because he was very thirsty arjuna went swiftly very quickly arjuna left the place he saw both his brothers lying dead near the pool when he reached near the pool he saw both his brothers lying dead he was shocked at the sight and felt that they must have been killed by some lurking for when he saw his brothers lying dead he was shocked at the sight and felt that they must have been killed by some lurking for some must have hidden themselves and attacked them and killed them some enemy must have attacked them by hiding somewhere direct encounter is not possible because they are very strong and this must have been done by some lurking for though heartbroken with grief and burning with the desire for revenge all feeling self submerged in a monstrous thirst though heartbroken with grief with a sorrow he was down and burning with the desire for revenge he was having that feeling of revenge in him that his brothers were attacked and killed all feeling self submerged in a monstrous thirst these all feelings were taken over by his thirst which irresistibly impelled him to the fatal pool this thirst forced him to go to the fatal pool and drink water from it even though he was heartbroken with the grief and his mind was full of revenge but these things were submerged or taken over by the monstrous thirst that means he was so thirsty that he could not control his thirst and forced him to go to the fatal pool and drink water from it again a voice was heard and so my questions before you drink the water the voice said answer my questions before you drink the water this pool is mine if you disobey me you follow your brothers if you don't follow my instructions you will also follow your brothers you also will die arjuna sang new no bounds he cried who are you come and stand up to me and i'll destroy you and he shot keen at charus in the direction of the voice arjuna was very angry there was no limit for his anger he cried who are you he shouted who you are come and stand up to me come and stand in front of me i'll destroy you i'll kill you come and stand in front of me and reveal yourselves and he shot keen at shadows in the direction of the voice from where the voice came towards that side he started sending sharp edged arrows 
the invisible being laughed in scorn your arrows do but wound the air with contempt the invisible being started laughing and he told your arrows do but wound the air your arrows will not hurt me it will be hurting the elderly answer my questions and then you can satisfy thirst first you answer my questions then you drink water if you drink the water without doing so you will die if you are planning to drink water without answering my questions surely you will die greatly vexed arjuna made up his mind to seek out and grapple with this elusive foe once he had conscious terrible thirst so he drank the water and also fell down dead greatly vexed means irritated very badly arjuna was irritated very badly with all these things and he has made up his mind that means he has decided to seek out and grapple with the elusive foe he will find out and fight with this enemy who is hidden from him once he had quenched his terrible thirst he has decided first he will drink some water and then he will find out the enemy and fight with him so he drank the water and also fell down dead so what happened thought that he will drink water first and then will fight with the enemy and he drank the water and he also fell down dead rest of the lesson we will see in the next session